Welcome to Stalking the Pantry with Hal. It's a series of videos, articles, and my ramblings produced in cooperation with the Point Defiance Ruston Senior Center. Our goal is to provide information and resources to help everyone to be better prepared and reduce food waste. So let's get started. Well, today we're going to be continuing our series on stocking your winter pantry, talking about some things that it's useful to have on hand, and products that you could make that would take you all the way through the winter. And today we're going to be starting to talk about carrots. And on our website you can find articles on carrots and a lot more recipes. But today's recipe is going to be spicy pickled carrots. So it's got a couple of different kinds of spices in it. As you can maybe see, it has some jalapeno peppers. And it's really simple, and it can be done as a uh, water bath product and be shelf stable. Or you can make it as a refrigerator pickle. So today we're gonna make them as refrigerator pickles. So the ingredients are as simple as anything. There are some fresh carrots, cut into three to four inch long spears. Uh, we've got some nice garlics. Uh, the recipe calls for one to two garlics, but I love garlic. And then also some jalapenos or other dry or some dried peppers. Now each, this recipe makes uh, single pint jars. So we're just making a single jar today, but of course you can multiply the ingredients and make as many as you like, because it's a very simple brine, very simple spices. The brine has salt, honey, and some cider vinegar or wine vinegar, cumin, coriander, and this is a bay leaf off my culinary bay tree. And those aren't quite as strong as like the um, other types of bay, but make sure you use the culinary because you can use any of the leaves. I don't believe any of them are poisonous, but I'm not 100% sure. So please just make sure you get a culinary version. So the easiest way to get the carrots into the jar is to put the jar horizontal and then fill it while it's on its side like that. And you're looking to have about a half inch of headroom. And so that would be a half inch from the top rim. And that if, that's if you're water bath canning them. If you're doing them in the refrigerator, uh, you don't need to be quite as precise at how much room there is up on the top, but in either method, uh, whether it's shelf stable or refrigerator, you're going to want to be sure that you have enough of the brine mixture to cover them completely. And so when I get it pretty much full, then what I like to do is go ahead and add the spices. And remember, I've measured out just for one jar. If you were doing multiple, you could have a bowl with, uh, like say your uh, coriander in it and be measuring it out. And then I like to use the whole, including the seeds, as a slice. So we fit in the garlics and then I like to stuff the bay leaf down in there. And so I don't know how much you can see of the detail, but there's a lot of nice little colors in there. Then I like to go ahead and not pack it so tight that you have to really claw the uh, product out when you get it. Oh, that's a little too big. Well, let's do a short one. Good. And when that's all ready, you set that aside for a moment. And what we're going to be doing, because this is going to be a refrigerator, 
and regular lids, metal lids at this point in 2021, uh, we're at the beginning of March, they are still hard to find canning jar lids, especially ones that aren't in inferior quality. So I've gone ahead and done a number of things refrigerator, and for those you can use these plastic lids, and they're completely reusable, but you can't water bath or pressure can in these but they're really good for refrigerated stuff or if you were going to be freezing a product. Then we'll go ahead and I'll grab this uh, pot and into the pot we put the cider vinegar we put the honey and we put some water. Now for things like refrigerator pickles and um, pretty much any kind of pickles in brine, the minimum amount of 5% vinegar to water for it should be 50-50. Now in this case it's a three-quarter pr proportion because it's a a uh, half a cup of vinegar, um, I'm sorry, it's a half a cup of water and then three quarters of a cup of vinegar. So you never want there to be less than a 50-50 ratio. And so once you've got the vinegar and the water and the honey in there, the last thing to add is a little bit of salt. And then you want to bring it to a boil and pour it over the carrots and then either water bath can it for 10 minutes or just slap a lid on it that's airtight and refrigerate it. Now in either case they should sit for at least three or four days to allow, as my mother used to say, for all the flavors to get to know each other but also for the vinegar and the other spice flavors to permeate the carrots. So I really love this recipe and I hope you do too. And look on our website for additional recipes like carrot soups and a Korean carrot salad. So thank you and please enjoy. Thank you for sharing this time with us. If you'd like more information about the Center for Food Preservation Arts, including more recipes, check out our website at preservefoods.blogspot.com and follow us on Facebook so you get notifications of upcoming articles, videos, and events. And we hope to see you back here for our next virtual canning party.